the one with the spots. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna try to be loud. Uh, I am not in focus, I don't. One important thing to keep in mind. You know what? Leaf blowers. Hold that thought one second. Wow. All right, so uh, we are hiking right now to La Fortuna waterfall. One thing I wanna mention that there is an entrance fee to this park. It's about like $18, but I think it's worth every penny. You know, it's a, a protected area, so most of that money goes into the park, which is great. It's a really nice trail, so I don't know if you can tell, like, you know, it's pretty paved, it's nice, there's stairs, and I think it's definitely worth it, and the nature around here is so beautiful. Audio check one two one two. Yeah, if you want to avoid the crowds, I say come here a little bit earlier in the day. Maybe I don't know when the park opens. When do you think it opens? Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Oh, actually, I think at seven. It opens at seven. They close at five. a quick stop right now near Tamacon natural hot springs we didn't bring like bathing suits we're just gonna like get in the hot springs with our clothes on I think I'm gonna switch to the GoPro right now so yeah see you on the hot springs Mystico Hanging Bridges. Uh, after the hot springs, we started driving to find this place and yeah, we got lost, but you know what? It's part of the fun. It's a three kilometer hike. They say it will take around a couple hours. The sun is setting in a couple hours. So I think it's perfect. Do you hear this? Just beautiful nature. end of our tour I don't know what our next stop is gonna be we are losing light but uh, I don't know let's see if we can grab a, a bite somewhere oh 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 I gotta show you this it's beautiful to stop at a, just like a food joint on the road to get some dinner before we go to bed we got some fun stuff so we got casado here we got a little bit of green beans salad rice casado with fish then black beans here we got some rolled tacos rolled beef tacos and a little bit of ceviche here look at that all right so Dinner is here. I'm gonna go have some dinner. Tomorrow is another new adventure. So yeah, catch you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. All right. Am I in focus? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> good morning, folks. So we're on the road again, and right now we are heading to Rio Celeste. Let's go.
So how do I say this? Uh, we're lost. He typed in Rio Celeste in Waze and we somehow ended up with some private property, probably called Rio Celeste. So now we're looking up Rio Celeste waterfall. <laughs> Few things I did not know about this place is that first of all it is really far so make sure you bring time just to get to this place whatever you are gonna be at this place is out there make sure you know how to get here like make sure you write down the correct address and ways don't use Google Maps But it's supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be like one of the best waterfalls in Costa Rica. Stopping to enjoy this beautiful nature around us. It's so nice, it's as tropical as it gets, it's as Costa Rica as it gets. Am I, does it all start here? All starts here. All right, so I'm not gonna attempt to explain what's happened. Here. They told us kind of like this with that bluish color starts to really show a sort of like mineral that is coming from the ground. And see how it turns like blue on this side? It's pretty neat. We're officially heading back. We're gonna get in our car. And our next stop is two hours away from here. So we got a little trip ahead of us. We're going to Monte Verde. Tomorrow's going to be full of activities, but uh, today's not done yet. So uh, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Don't go, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> So we're in Monte Verde finally. It was insane to get here. Like we were on this dirt road for like, felt like forever. It was getting dark, we were outside. We were praying it would not rain because that would have been catastrophic. Can't even say it. Uh, yeah, let's go grab a bike. All right, good morning. Let me show you kind of like what kind of weather we're dealing with here. Windy, rainy, wet, misty, foggy, lovely. We're in Monte Verde. Uh, this is our humble room. Uh, what are we doing this morning? Well, we're gonna have to put gas in the car first. Like that's the to do. And we got some fun stuff planned. We got some zip lining planned ahead for today. It is windy and cloudy, so I don't know how ziplining works in a weather like this. I googled ziplining in the rain and I was told it's more fun when you zipline in the rain for some reason. But first things first, let's put gas in the car.
so we just got back from uh, the zip line in uh, honestly it was one of the best adventures i've ever done in my life i always thought like zip lining was corny but you know if i if i if i ever was gonna zip line i was gonna do it in costa rica and honestly this tour really delivered it was uh, great it was fun it was a good time the weather was a little bit tricky it was raining but i thought it added to the excitement of uh, this uh, tour what can i say what can i say i'm full of adrenaline right now so you're too excited you can even talk i'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> So hey, we've been having some like authentic, we've been trying like authentic Costa Rican food. So yesterday we had the chifritico and then we also had the patacones. And today we're trying another authentic one and it's called Ola de Carne. So it's like a... Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. siento. <laughs> we just left the restaurant where we had some authentic Costa Rican food and right now there's like a supermarket right by the restaurant and we decided to stop by to see kind of like what kind of what are they selling here what kind of interesting products they have and maybe grab a couple of snacks for our next trip tomorrow uh, I'm seeing a lot of fun stuff I know, they're so beautiful. So we just came to Cafe Colibri where there is uh, so many hummingbirds and there's like different species of hummingbirds. Uh, we grabbed a, a nice coffee, a much needed coffee after a really hectic day because we are so crashing right now. We're trying to wrap up this segment of the video for today. We're probably just gonna go back to the hotel. Tomorrow, we got some fun stuff planned. We're gonna head to the coast and uh, see a little bit of the beach side of uh, Costa Rica. So uh, our, our trip is coming to an end and this video is coming to an end. There's some takeaways that I want to share with you guys that I think is really important. I don't like to talk about money in my videos, but you know, here we go. I think these tips are really important. We've seen videos that they told us like the Costa Rica can be really expensive, but honestly, all the hotels that we stayed at are actually under $50. The only one that was under $100, around $70 was the hostel where we stayed at which was right on the beach so you can really travel around costa rica for cheap if you wanted to on a budget the other thing that i want to share with you guys is the car you're going to have to rent a car when you're here the car typically is going to cost around like 70 dollars uh, for you know seven to eight days like it's pretty much like around a hundred dollars for like uh, under a hundred dollars for a week the thing that you're gonna have to pay for is going to be the insurance but uh, you know insurance is typically around 20 to 30 dollars a day and I think that's really worth it the, the car we rented was for, for six days and it was about like 350 dollars and I think it was worth every penny if you rent a car make sure you rent an SUV a lot of the roads uh, are super tricky there's hills there is uh, unpaved areas so you're gonna need a car that is gonna get you to places uh, the fourth thing that I want to share with you guys it's the tours there's a lot of tours here I think they are worth it you know if you want to go on a tour we did like a zip line tour and it was amazing it was crazy but it was amazing a lot of the hikes are actually you have to pay like an entrance fee and most of the money goes into the park and for maintaining the park and the animals in the park so I think that's really important I think that's you know worth uh, the money as well I think you're gonna have to get a phone when you're here uh, it's really tricky when you get the phone because you can just buy it at any convenience store but you got to make sure you activate your SIM card so you have to call to activate the SIM card even after you recharge the phone with the card you're gonna have to call and activate the SIM card uh, and I was told that you can actually call and just do it in English that's I think all the tips that I, that I have I'm gonna share all the places that we stayed at in the description uh, and some of the restaurants in every city and I hope uh, that you guys enjoyed watching this video you know if you like it hit that subscribe button and show some support 
And uh, you know, I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful sunset. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Pura vida, bye.